Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the JMB Boxing Old School Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the JMB Boxing Old School Style Puncher's Gloves. Got mine in this chocolate brown and mustard yellow colorway, 10 ounces, a lace up closure. The glove is made of full, genuine leather construction with welted seams, soft layered foam padding over the knuckle area, and I believe the glove is manufactured in Pakistan. Now, JMB Boxing is a relatively new and, and somewhat unknown company. Uh, I believe it's a one man show based out of the UK. And I actually found these gloves on eBay. You know, every now and then I go on eBay and I scroll through eBay looking for, uh, you know, good deals or rare or hard to find items that are being resold uh, when it comes to boxing equipment. And as I was scrolling down, I saw these gloves. And what made me curious about them was, one, I've never heard of the brand before, JMB Boxing. So I was like, who's JMB Boxing? And then two was the photos. It had that old school shape to it. It was full leather. Um, so that's what really got me curious. And the next thing was the price point. You know, once you convert it from British pounds to whatever currency you're using, uh, in my case, obviously US dollars, it was only $80 shipped. So to me, that was kind of a bargain. Uh, and at the same time, I was a little skeptical because I was buying these gloves I've never heard of. And, um, you know, it was kind of like you're taking a risk. You're like, okay, I'm spending $80, but it wasn't too big of a risk. Now these gloves were like two, $300 then I'd probably be not as inclined or as excited to put that much money down on gloves, you you know, or a brand I've never heard from before. So, but $80, I was like, you know, what the hell, let me go ahead and, and uh, buy these gloves and see how they work out. And I'm glad that I did because these gloves definitely surpassed my expectations. Um, I've done reviews on old school style boxing gloves in the past. Uh, Title Boxing had has their old school gloves. I, I got them, I believe, in the Oxblood Red. And those were solid gloves. They weren't bad, they weren't great, they weren't terrible. They were just kind of right in the middle. Um, Top Boxer has their old school gloves and those gloves were just way too big and bulky and somewhat uncomfortable, especially the thumb. Um, great quality, but to me, those are more of like a piece that you put over your fireplace and just kind of display as an old school glove. Uh, so I haven't really tried an old school style glove that's shaped in this manner. Um, that has been comfortable, protective, and, and felt like a usable glove. I feel like some of these old school gloves that are coming out are more or less just for looks and just kind of like paying, you know, paying homage to the old school gloves of, of you know, decades ago. Um, yes, you can technically use them, but you're not gonna get the same comfort performance that you would some of these newer style gloves that have better technology and just, you know, are more ergonomic for your hands. So, uh, but these gloves definitely surpassed. And at first, again, I was initially skeptical, but I'm glad I did get these gloves. So first things first, when you look at the glove design wise, they are um, a little bit more on the compact side. Um, j &B has their eBay store, but they also have um, their Instagram and like social media pages where you can go on there and essentially look at what they have to offer. So. My best suggestion, if you're interested in these gloves, is to go to their Instagram profile because that's where you're going to see the different varieties of colors, the Velcro style, um, and just what they have in the works coming um, coming up in 2023. So there's definitely other styles you can choose from other than this vintage brown looking glove. Um, so that would be where I would start if you're interested in these gloves, but definitely more compact. Uh, you can see that the leather on here has kind of more of a satin finish to it. It says, it's your journey. Uh, J and B actually stands for journeyman boxing. So that's the acronym that it stands for J and B journeyman boxing. Um, you do have uh, the logo here with the flag on the side and uh, it says the journeyman boxing and it has kind of like that old school style fighting Irish look to it on the back with that cloth patch it does say 10 ounces on the tag at the bottom cuff right here. It is in a gold color. Uh, you do have these welted seams. They typically see more on Mexican style gloves. And I guess essentially this is supposed to be more of like a Mexican style puncher's gloves, but there is a, a caveat to that. And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. So you do have that wel the welted seams right there, a leather attached thumb. Uh, you have kind of that mustard yellow piping around the thumb. Um, it does say, it's your journey right here. 
and you also have these nice long flat gold yellow or mustard colored yellow laces with the plastic tips. Uh, I haven't figured out whose autograph that is. My best bet is, or my best guess, is going to be the uh, owner of JMB, the founder. You do have a nice large grip bar and no ventilated holes. Quality wise, the gloves are pretty good. Um, to me, it feels uh, like your standard Pakistan made glove. Well, one area that I, I guess you can call a concern is going to be the inside of the fingertip compartment. Obviously, visually, you can't see it in the video and you can only feel it when you put your hand in. But right here in this area, there was a little bit of the excess material that feels like, I don't even know what the right word is, but it feels almost like shredded up a little bit. So I feel like they could have definitely fixed that with the, the quality control. Uh, the gloves themselves are a little top heavy, not by much, but they are definitely a little bit more on the top heavy side. And because of that old school shape, it has much more of kind of a bulb, bulb type rounded look to the glove, but that's kind of what you're getting with this old school solid glove. So that's not necessarily a drawback or a negative. It's just kind of the style of this glove. And what you would see with gloves from back in like the 1940s and the 1950s is they do have this shape. So that kind of goes with the theme um, of the glove. You do have that leather attached thumb. I do love the welted seams to kind of give it that old school vintage look. The grip bar is a nice large size, although it is a little bit more on the softer end. It would have been nice for that grip the bar to be more solid so that when I make a fist, I can really clamp down on it. Stitching looks good throughout. Um, the weight on the gloves were a little bit off. I believe the right glove is like right at 11.4 ounces and the left glove is like at 10.3. So they're about an ounce off, but these aren't approved fight gloves. So I'm not really too concerned with that when it comes to weight. These are just gonna be for mitt work and hitting the bag, obviously not for sparring because they're too, too small for that. Uh, you do have that polyester nylon liner. The only issue I had with the liner was in this area of the finger compartment. Um, just feeling that little extra material that kind of bunched up there. Um, but other than that, the rest of the glove looks really good. Um, I don't like the patch as well as this one. I feel like if you're gonna do it, spend a little bit more money and detail. The font looks kind of generic. It's like something that you go on Microsoft Word and you just kind of print it out and stick it on here. Uh, I definitely would have gone with more of just a print rather than a patch. I mean, if you're gonna put a patch right here with the with that slogan, just print the slogan in gold on the leather rather than just put that there. To me, that's just, I don't know, it doesn't really look good. Or if you're gonna do that, then do it right and make the logo and the slogan just classier looking and more expensive looking. And even this logo right here does feel kind of sharp um, in terms of like the scratchiness to it. Not that I would use these for sparring, but if he does have a 16 ounce version, then I would probably put tape over that because it does kind of have that scratchy edge, even though it is made out of cloth. Uh, so that's another concern right there. And again, the logo, you know, the font on here is kind of in silver metallic mat material, and it's really hard to read that, the Journeyman Boxing. I mean, that's your branding. To me, it should be very visible and you can see it well. Again, some, certain things I would improve if it was my brand. Uh, and even this right here, it's your journey. Again, I just feel like there's something missing in terms of the design. It looks very simple and elegant, and maybe that's what they're going for, that simple look to it, but you know, maybe like an oval, just something there to make it look more of a branded glove. Because right now it just feels like it was kind of put together, like, okay, I'm gonna put this logo here, I'm just gonna write on the back, put the flag, and then just kind of keep come up with this cheap slogan that's you know stitched on there. So I feel like those are areas that can definitely be improved. Uh, comfort wise. Now this is the area that I was initially concerned with was I was going to put these gloves on and I was going to hate them uh, and feel like they were just like putting a box on my hands. So because I had kind of that same problem with the top boxer old school glove. They just felt weird. The thumb was weird. They were too bulky. So I was kind of expecting the same thing, honestly. And when I initially put them in, my, my hand in here, I was actually pleasantly surprised. It's a little deceiving, but the thumb is actually in a really nice position. You can actually see my thumb right here. Um, and this piping isn't too tight, and you do have a good amount of padding on the back of your thumb. I mean, you can see how thick that padding is, but it's soft padding. So it doesn't feel like the padding is like restricting blood flow or pinching down on the top of your thumb and, and making your thumb go numb. It's actually really comfortable, and I had no issues with the thumb placement. So that was very surprising to me. And the other thing is the glove is extremely broken in. I mean, even when I first got them until now, they're, I mean, you can open and close your hand with, with no resistance whatsoever. So I definitely like that. And the finger compartment is a little on the shallow end, but because the glove is so uh, soft and loose, you can really make a nice tight fist with these. 
Um, I'd say that the, the finger compartment is a little bit a hair on the more narrow side. So if you do have fatter or a bigger fingers or bigger hands, I would probably go a, a larger size. Keep in mind these are 10 ounces, so the, the probably the 14 or 16 ounce versions would be, definitely be more accommodating to your hands. But um, again, it's, it's really comfortable. So I was initially very skeptical, uh, skeptical, excuse me, uh, but uh, they are actually really comfortable. And one thing I forgot to mention was the, the wrist support on here. You have about maybe a, a quarter inch uh, of uh, a firm density foam padding on the wrist right here. Give yourself some support as well as on this side. And then on the back of the wrist, you have maybe about a quarter inch of that same padding on this back square. So you do have some wrist support uh, when you when you tie the laces up and lace it down. And uh, you can see that the, the actual wrist support right here isn't too wide. It doesn't flare out where you have these big gaps on the side of your forearm. So that's good as well. And the length of the glove is, is perfect. So it's not a super long cuff and it's not too, too short. I'd say it's perfect right in the middle where it needs to be in terms of sizing. But again, I feel like the thumb was a little deceiving when you look at it. You probably think in your head like, oh, that's gonna suck when I put these gloves on, they look uncomfortable, but they actually aren't. I was really surprised and they're really broken in. Uh, the next thing is gonna be the, the padding, the protection and the performance of the gloves. Uh, another thing I, that kind of, I initially thought was gonna be an issue and these actually surpassed my expectations once again. So when I got these, you know, puncher's gloves, the first thing you think of is the, the padding is gonna be very soft very broken in. When you land your punches, you can really feel that feedback and get that crack, your knuckles sink in, but you're gonna kind of sacrifice the shock absorption as well as the protection as well. So if you have any kind of hand injury, uh, knuckle soreness, anything like that, um, you know, you're gonna have to su supplement your hands with, you know, gel, gel knuckle guards, or just avoid these gloves altogether because it'd be too painful to use them. Um, I was surprised by how well the padding as she did on a heavy bag when I was hitting this fight camp bag, I was using them at the gym. I was using them on my pro last bag over there. Um, they did a really nice job of giving me kind of that right in the middle of the road protection and pop and feedback. So you get a good amount of feedback and pop out of these. And you can see because it's softer, you get like a nice flat punch surface right there. And you can see, I mean, when you land, you really feel your, your knuckles landing and, and that's really satisfying. But as the foam compresses, and I don't believe there's force here in here, I initially thought there was, and maybe they'll correct me, but it doesn't have that consistency of horse here. If anything, it's like maybe like a shredded up type material that they used in here combined with the foam, or maybe just be an open cell foam, but you can see that it does have that softness, but it compresses nicely to where you know, you don't feel like the brunt of the power of your shot is gonna go directly into your knuckles and it, and it absorbs it really nicely. But to me, that's my favorite thing about the gloves is yes, it does have kind of that big rounded surface, but it, it flattens out real nicely and, and my knuckles are right here. So you can definitely feel it kind of just pierce through when you land. So I definitely love that about the gloves, both the comfort and the performance on these. You know, if you end up getting these and you try them out on the mitts, you'll definitely be satisfied with these gloves, hitting the mitts with them. You get that nice, satisfying crack. And uh, even with the weight at 10 ounces, you know, your hand speed, it's a little bit better than like a 14 or 16 ounce glove that you use for training. So you definitely get a satisfying experience, uh, especially on the mitts. Cost-wise, which I mentioned earlier, for me, uh, these are about 80 US dollars shipped to my front door. Again, I would check, just depending on where you're located when you're watching this video, um, to convert it over. So if you do go to eBay, I'll put the link in the description box like I usually do on where you can purchase these gloves. Uh, just make sure you convert it over to whatever payment you're gonna be using and then from there you can determine. But at $80, I think these are a great, a great deal, uh, especially if you're looking for kind of that old school vintage looking glove that you can actually train with. You don't feel like this is just gonna be a glove that you're gonna get in the mail and then you're gonna end up hanging it, you know, when doing one of those where you hang it on the wall and it stays there for the next 20 years. So. I feel like these gloves definitely perform. Uh, they're not just for looks. They're not just there for that old school look, uh, but they actually are very functional and I enjoy using them until today. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. Put the link in the description box where you can find these JMB Old School Punchers Boxing Gloves. See you guys later. Take care.